Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com, and uh, I'm, I'm up on top of Burnett's Mound in Topeka, Kansas. I talked about this before. This is where the, in I think it was 66, 1966, a big, big uh, tornado came through and wiped everything out. Uh, right there is a, a tornado shelter, and... Uh, uh, that's a newer one, and uh, the um, it was up there. And we're going over there. Is be the top of the mountain, the Burnett's Mound. And uh, but anyway, I thought I'd come by here and look, see what they got here. And I think this is for uh, uh, bicycles, uh, BMX bicycles, those little ones. And I think that's what all this is all about right here. And then. Uh, you see there's more over on this side. So, uh, a lot of tracks, but uh, mostly motorcycles tracks. But uh, anyway, uh, what I want to talk about is uh, the movies and morals. Uh, I've been having, I, I really enjoy going to the movies. Uh, I don't enjoy most of the movies and uh, I try to like I say I'm uh, dyslexia so I can't read reading isn't really a good thing for me so that's why I, I do a lot of visual and movies uh, is a pretty neat thing I like them I'm real active. I do a lot. I'm not so much now. I'm getting old now. Uh, but uh, I like the movies. I see things and I say, hey, that that looks interesting. You know, I mean, that's something that maybe I could do. And then there's, I'll see other things and I'll say, well, that's impossible. That's, that's for the movies. So, uh, and uh, that's what, what helps me think of different things uh, I might not do exactly what's on the movies but it gives me an idea but uh, one thing I've noticed I try to learn something in the way of something that will make me a better a better person and a better man one reason why I like act, action movies is you know what what is it that they're doing and what part of that could I adapt to my life to make me a better person? And, uh, of course, there's a lot of fighting, and uh, either with weapons, well, always with some kind of weapon, uh, or hand-to-hand. -hand. And uh, I try to uh, get something out of that. And uh, you got to remember, I was brought up on John Wayne movies. And, uh, and I never thought about it. And as far as I know, <laughs> I'm one of the very few that even talk morals. And uh, really, and that's on, on uh, YouTube, but really morals, I don't really talk about morals outside of this, uh, this platform. And the reason is I am looking for morals. I'm looking for people that uh, have uh, some kind of uh, uh, moral uh, stature in their in their uh, character. Uh, there's been a lot of people that they're highly moral uh, but they don't have the physical to back up. So in other words, their morals are based more on uh, living their life, and a nice normal life and stuff like that. Very few have, uh, uh, are on such a, a moral level and uh, carry weapons. Uh, do things. Uh, I used to think 
And this was when I was a little kid. <laughs> I don't know if I was just a little dumb or what. But uh, police, and this is where I, you hear me talk about police are held at a higher standard. And we expect police, or we used to. Now I don't know what we expect. Um, but um, we, when I was young, we expected police to have kind of a, a higher... Um, what do you call it? Uh, moral standards, and that's and that they've kind of kept that up, uh, but not in reality. <laughs> Woo. But uh, when you go to court, if there's a policeman in the court, whatever he says, they trust it 100. So in other words, if the policeman says you were speeding. And you said, no, I wasn't. Well, they're going to trust the, the policeman. I mean, that's, they're supposed to have higher moral standards. Uh, when you say that the policeman beat the hell out of me for no reason, and then the policeman says, well, I was doing it for uh, resisting arrest and stuff like that. Well, then they believe him. So uh, this is what I'm saying. And, and we used to do the same thing with politicians. Uh, even though we kind of knew the politicians weren't as moral as we wanted them, we did, when, when years ago, we used to think these people have high moral standards, in which now we've learned that no, that's kind of the opposite. And um, But anyway, I push people to try to put them in situations or if, if I meet them somewhere, I don't even know them and, and you know, they'll, they'll do something and, and then I'll ask them, well, why, why would you do that? And no one really says this the morally right thing to do. They don't say that. But they will say, uh, well, I thought it was the right thing to do at the time. And then, you know, in other words, it, that's a moral decision. They made a moral decision. And this is what I try to get people to do, make moral decisions. And then when you make a moral decision, conscious, a conscious moral decision, knowing this is the morally right thing to do, then you, and then I say, it's not going to be easy. And you're probably going to get in trouble. You're probably going to have the heat put on you. But, so what? I mean, uh, that's the way I live my life. Um, I'm going to do the, what I think is the morally right thing to do. And I've made mistakes. And later on I found out, well, that wasn't the morally right thing to do. I, I told myself it was, but it really wasn't. Uh, my wife, she taught me that. She would ask me, oh, well, why did you do this? Uh, because she's never seen anybody... Um, Oh, I hate to say this, but uh, as violent as me. Uh, now, she's probably known some, but she's just never seen them, never been around them long enough to see all the violence that they do. But she's, when she's with me, she could see, man, I have no problem using violence. <laughs> you know? And uh, I don't do it in the way of intimidation, like I try to intimidate people. You know, I'm going to violently hurt you if you don't do that. I'm not, I don't do like that. On occasions, I'll put it this way. On occasions, I'll do that. Uh, when I was young, that's when I was talking about I'd spit in your face, slap you around, and make you do it. And then other people standing around, they say, hey, it's a good idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but as I got older, I don't do like that. Uh, but like I say, I do... Uh, when I, uh, when I'm around people, I expect them to do what they believe is the morally proper thing to do. Uh, I mentioned when, uh, if, if there's four of us Marines are walking along here and then, uh, there's some guy over here, uh, one guy getting beat up by four or five, six guys. And then, you know, 
we'd say, oh man, I gotta go get that. And then the other Marines would say, no, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. And they would say, no, 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 let me do it, I'll do it. So we get kind of argument among ourselves on who gets to go over there and beat the hell out of these people. Picking on that one poor guy. Because that's, it's, it's you can tell pretty easily uh, if, which is, if they're doing something morally uh, right or not. And I've been in situations where uh, and one guy, and that's why I'm now, as I get older, I'm a little slower, a little wiser on slower on going in and doing what I got to do. And the reason is I've seen enough stuff. There's, there's one time I saw a guy beating this guy and then, you know, so I'm on my way over there and then come find out the guy's getting beat up was some drunk guy that was giving this guy some trouble. And he kept trying to tell the guy to stay away from him, and the guy kept messing with him, and so he beat them, beat the hell out of him. Hey, none of my business. <laughs> Morals got nothing to do with that and me. So, and then uh, there was times so I was going along there, and there's probably 20, 30 young kids. And they're all in a group, and I'm, uh, and I'm thinking, well, there's something, something going on there. It can't be good. And so as I'm walking over there, and I'm looking. And then uh, there was one guy with a knife and then another guy, both young kids. And uh, this guy with the knife was scaring the hell out of the guy with no knife. And I didn't have my knife. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. I don't do knife fighting anyway. Um, I'm always worried I'm going to find somebody better than me might shove that knife up my butt. So I come walking over there and I kind of push, push my way through the crowd. And, and I told the guy, put the knife away. And then uh, he, he looked at me like, what the hell, old man? Because well, I wasn't old at that time, but I was old compared to these young kids. And then uh, he turned to me with a, a stance like he's gonna do something with that knife. And then uh, I slapped him <laughs> inside the head. And then, you know, boom, wow, what was that? <laughs> and so then, you know, and I said, you want me to shove that knife up your ass? And then so then he dropped it. And then I told him just everybody break it up and go on. And everybody broke it up and left. So, I mean, I knew my moral stance on that. Here, I was talking about Burnett's Mound. There, that's, that's the top of it. Up there, that's the top. So, uh, but like I say, uh, so that's why I'm not in a hurry when I get into a situation. If I was in Walmart and somebody started shooting, I wouldn't grab my gun and rush over there and do something. But I don't know who's, who's shooting and I don't know who's, who's defending. I don't know nothing. And I'm not going to have my gun out because I'm going to look just like the guy doing the shooting. Nobody's going to tell me, tell, tell me, tell that I'm any different than the person doing the shooting. So that's what I got the hat for, cover my gun. And, uh, so then, uh, so, and as I say, as I'm watching, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And then what I'm doing is I want to make sure I'm putting myself in the moral, uh, in, the, in a moral position because I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to do it. If I got weapons, if I don't have weapons, it doesn't make any difference. I'm still going to do what I have to do because I've got a moral responsibility. I've, I've pushed that pretty much all my life. And uh, I say my wife, she'd always ask me, well, why do you do that? You know, and she's, so she's trying to figure out why would I use force on somebody? Why would I use force on somebody like that? So there was, uh, that's where it came to my attention that uh, I was looking at it in a moral position. And uh, that's why I get myself in so much trouble because I do what's moral, what I think is morally right, whether it is or not, and then I'll figure it out afterwards if I did right or wrong. That's what I'm trying to do with other people. I'm trying to make other people think what's the morally right thing to do. And it's not, uh, sometimes it is something that you don't really want to do. So then you don't do it. So like I say, that's why a lot of times people don't do the morally right thing. Uh, 
and I say now I'm getting everything set up uh, I will be doing put myself in more of a situation uh, like I say now it's kind of cool so it's not so bad but when it's hot I've been trying to stay cool but once it starts cooling down I'll be getting out more and I'll probably get myself in situations that, um, that smart people don't get themselves into moral people we don't care <laughs> because we're going to do what we got to do. And uh, then like I say, when we're confronted, then we will do what we have to do again. But uh, this is what I'm saying. Uh, and I wish they would make more movies like that. Then when people would be, they don't even need to say they're being moral. You can look at it and you can see. Look at your John Wayne movies. You can see he was doing the morally right thing. You know, I mean, there's a time when he just punches people out, and there's a time when he shoots people. You know, it just depends. And, uh, but like I say, I wish they'd make more movies like that. Because I think if the young people are going to learn what's right and wrong, what's moral and what's immoral, they're going to have to see it in movies and see that you just don't do the morally right thing now, this time, and then next time piss on it. You don't do like that. It, it's a lifestyle. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.